Gemini the Gamer here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a build guide for the Ward and Healer class on ESO. All that's coming up in just a minute, but first, if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it. Starting off in the Animal Companions skill line, I took Betty Niche because it restores your magicka over 24 seconds and increases your spell damage. And for the passive abilities, I'm also specced into Bomb with Nature, Savage Beast, and Flourish. Moving on down to Green Balance, my ultimate ability is Healing Thicket, and the reason why I picked that one is because it gives you an extra 4 seconds of healing, which is nice. I'm also specced into Budding Seas, mainly because you can activate the ability immediately and it becomes a very powerful AoE heal. For my passive abilities, I specced into Accelerated Growth, Nature's Gift, and Emerald Moss. Moving on down to the Winter's Embrace skill line, I took Ice Fortress because it gives you a shield for everyone in your group, and also you gain minor protection reducing your damage taken by 8% for 21 seconds. So that's a pretty nice shield. And for my passive abilities, I'm specced into Frozen Armor, which gives you physical and spell resistance. Next up is the Restoration Staff. I picked Healing Springs because it is another powerful AoE heal, and it also gives you some of your resource back. I'm also specced into Mutagen, mainly for the reason that if you have an ally that falls below 20% health, it activates immediately, granting 3,500 health and removes one harmful effect. So it's pretty nice. For my passive abilities, I am specced into Essence Drain, Restoration Expert, and Circle of Life. Going on down to the armor section for light armor, I'm into Recovery, Evocation, Spell Warding, and Prodigy. And for the Argonian Racial Skills, I am specced into Resourceful, which increases your Maximum Magicka, Argonian Resistance, which increases your Health, Poison, and Disease Resistance, and the big one is Quick to Mend, increasing your Healing Done and Healing Received by 1%. For my boon, I took the ritual because it increases your healing done by 10%, which is very important for a healer. And coupled with the quick to mend, it increases your healing done by up to 15% because quick to mend goes up to 5%. And as for my gear, the set that I am using is the prayer set, which is really good. It adds Maxima Magicka, Spell Damage, Magicka Recovery, and the 5 item trait. Uh, when you heal a friendly target, you have a 6% chance to grab them a damage shield that absorbs 2086 damage for 6 seconds. And it may not seem like a lot, but in a low level dungeon, with your mutagen ticking, it, it will proc and it, it does account for something. The neck and the rings, I'm just looking for Maximum Magicka and Magicka Recovery. And as for the staff, I am just looking for anything that has physical and spell resistance on it. No matter which race you're playing, I hope this guide helped you into figuring out how easy it is to actually heal with a warden. And I really created this guide for the low level healers that were struggling and not knowing what skills to take or wondering what it works well with other skills. So I hope this sheds some light and if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching.